Okay, this is a how-to video to install a backup camera on the Crossfire. So I'm going to show you all the components, and then I'll do a quick walkthrough of where everything goes, and then I'll get more detailed. This is the license plate frame with the camera right here. And we had to reverse the camera. There's just a couple of little screws on the back side. You pull this bracket off, and then you can flip the camera because we had to put it on upside down in order for the image to be correct because if you put it up on the top it's in the way of the latch for the trunk this is the cables that you run from the camera up to the uh, mirror monitor if you want to do it you know hardwired we also have uh, this is the transmitter for the camera that you can put on in the back end and not have to hardwire it all the way up to the front uh, this is the this is the mirror monitor and this is the Wi-Fi receiver for it and then we we had to buy a set of brackets to adapt it to the to the mirror mount and the, out of the four adapters number four is basically nothing works you glue this one you glue this one on to the windshield and then you can just flip the or slide the the, the mirror bracket onto it but number one is what we needed to use for the for the Mercedes uh, mirror mount. This is this is an actual mirror mount that I have an extra of, and this is the number one adapter, and it just slips on and just locks locks on with the set screw here, and then that just sets right down into the bracket here on the on the mirror, and it fits perfect. It, it mounts great. Okay, to mount the license plate and get the wiring into the trunk, we have to go through, we have to, we have to pull the bumper loose, and there's a screw here, there's a, a screw up here, and one over on the other side, and then there's, there's two inside where the tail light goes, there's one here, and one here, and then there's, um, and it just pulls apart over on the side here and then underneath the bumper we have this panel here that had uh, one two three four five six I believe uh, bolts or screws or snap-on uh, uh, anchors that hold that piece on and then that releases the bumper so that it can be pulled outward. So it, it comes out and that, that allows us access back behind the bumper to get the wires in. And I'll go into more detail about that problem when we get to that point of it. But I've taken, oh and then there's, there's also uh, two screws back over on the ledge uh, on the fender there that hold the hold the bumper on out now you can see see right here there's one right here and one right here that that hold it on and that's all that's i'm only pulling it loose from for one side because i have i have uh led flasher uh, turn signal lights on mine which is wired up hard and i can't so i can't pull the bumper all the way off which would have been a little easier so but once you get I think we're gonna drill a hole through the back side right in here if I can find it yeah here we are right here and bring the wires inside because if we go some people some people go over here and come through that vent on the side but if I do that, some of my connectors are underneath the bumper and we, and we couldn't get to them later on. So I, I think coming through this hole and putting a rubber grommet is a better option. Uh, so anyway, if you want to hardwire it, you'll run it in. If you're hardwiring it, I think I'd probably go through the vent over here and then run it along the side through here and then down down through underneath the carpet here and then you'd, you'd pull up you'd pull up the uh, door seal 
put it under the carpet by the seat and then you pull off this panel here and then you can pull off this uh, a column piece it just you grab the inside and just it just pops right off and then you have to take the there's two screws underneath the visor that you pull off and there's two screws once you pull the lens off of your dome light there's two screws in there you pull off that will and I think you probably have to pull the two screws off on the driver's side also and you can see I've already pulled the a column off on the driver's side to run power to the mirror so but you can pull pull this down if you hardwire it you won't need to have that power it'll come from your tail light to everything so that's one advantage to hardwiring it but if you use the Wi-Fi you will need to go over to the fuse box that's on the driver's side and run the power to it which is easy to do we'll be showing that later on So this is the mirror mount on the windshield. You take the adapter and just slip it on there like that. And then you use the set screws to lock it on it. And then it's it's nice and tight. And if you're wondering about this cable, this goes to my dash camera. And it's just been pulled down a little bit to get it out of the way. So for this install, and then I'll tuck it back up under the trim when we are got the trim off. So this is where the fuses are at. We're going to pull this panel off and then I'll show you that. So this is the fuses that we'll be using. We'll be using a jumper uh, fuse connector like this, which I've used for my dash camera and my uh, GPS. I'll just be tapping into that wire so I won't need to use another fuse uh, connector. Okay, so we've installed the camera frame through the bumper we go through the hole that's where one of the screws for the bumper is at so we're going through it and then uh, we have to pull apart this little bit of plastic trim on the back side of the bumper in order to get the connectors through uh, between because the plastic's too close to the bumper so I couldn't get it through there so we pulled that apart and then that allowed the wires and the connect with the connectors to make it through there so we, uh, we drilled a three quarter inch hole through the back of the trunk area and put this rubber grommet in it and then ran the cables through and that's how we get into the trunk area. So now that we have that through and into the trunk and we'll, we'll also put silicone in that grommet so it's totally waterproof. But we're going to reinstall the bumper, so we'll, that'll take us a little bit of time. Okay, so we've now hooked up the power in the ground. This uh, gray with yellow stripe is the power to the backup light. I put a, a T connector on it and ran this. The red wire is coming from the transmitter. The black wire is coming from the transmitter and then it's going up to a ground lug okay. Okay. that is right right here just above the wheel that's a ground lug the red connector is what I've used to, to ground it so now the backup camera is completely wired I'll zip tie the wiring and stuff later and put the interior back in the trunk. Okay, so now we're going to work on installing the mirror and the wiring for it. So I've there's there's two screws, one here and one here for the dome light that you undo and then it just pulls down and then there's connectors right here that you pull loose to drop that out. And then we'll come over here and do the screws for the sun visor and then that drops this whole trim piece down so that we can get the wiring under there. Okay, so I'm going to stick the mirror now up onto the mount. Here's the the mount that I've, that with the adapter number one on it. And then I'm just going to stick it up. Okay, so we have the wires running down underneath the A-pillar here. You can see the 
the receiver right there. I'll probably adjust that a little bit. And then we've got the, the mirror mounted. And uh, so we're ready to hook it up. Okay, this is the final step where we're hooking up the power to the mirror. We have the uh, fuse uh, connector right here that goes over here. And this is my ground wire that's going to go to a, a, a bolt back there where you can see the hole. And that's where I'm grounding it. And then we're done. So here's here's what it looks like with the final install. So this is the back side of the tail light uh, unit. You can see the three anchor points right here, right here, and right here that you it just slides in and there's three nuts that you remove in order to slide out the unit and then there's the plug in right here which is this plug here so you just unplug that and then you can get to the bumper stuff and and to the uh, gray with yellow stripe for the backup light which is that connector there and this is that bottom panel that we took off in order to release the, the back bumper it's got five anchor points <laughs> 